Are you moving to Northern Virginia and you've heard a lot about our high cost of living? Well, in this week's video, I'm going to share with you most of the costs associated with living right here in Northern Virginia. We're going to look at housing, transportation, taxes, utilities, and so much more. So sit back, relax, because we're getting started right now. everybody it's David your favorite realtor and welcome back to another video so how much does it cost to live in Northern Virginia short answer is a lot and the high cost of living here in Northern Virginia is hands down the biggest con but you know what you get what you pay for Northern Virginia we are the suburbs of Washington DC and this is one of the most educated and affluent areas in the whole country so I really truly believe all the pros of living here definitely outweigh the big con of the high cost of living. So we're gonna get it started right now. I'm gonna jump on nerdwallet.com and we're gonna do some cost of living comparisons comparing Northern Virginia from some of the most relocated from cities in the country. So let's start off with San Antonio, Texas. So if you make $125,000 per year in San Antonio, Texas, to have the same quality of life here in Northern Virginia, you need to make $192,000 a year so it is 54% higher to live in Northern Virginia compared to San Antonio, Texas. Next, we have Denver, Colorado. So if you make $125,000 a year in Denver, you need to make $156,000 per year here in Northern Virginia to have the same standard of living. So it is 26% higher to live here compared to Denver, Colorado. Now we're gonna look at the flip side, some cities that are actually more expensive to live in than Northern Virginia. So let's start off with Los Angeles, California. So if you make $125,000 a year living in Los Angeles, if you move to Northern Virginia, you only have to make $114,000 a year to have the same standard of living. So it's actually 9% less expensive to live in Northern Virginia compared to Los Angeles, California. Next, we have Seattle, Washington. So if you make $125,000 a year living in Seattle, Washington, you only have to make $114,000 a year to have the same standard of living. And just like LA, it is 9% less expensive to live here in Northern Virginia compared to Seattle, Washington. So yes, it is very expensive to live in Northern Virginia, but at least we're not the most expensive place in the country, especially when you compare it to cities on the West Coast. Now let's look at the cost of housing. Now the cost of housing is hands down can be your biggest expense of living right here in Northern Virginia. And I'm sure you've been on Zillow looking at listings online and no doubt in my mind you're having sticker shock right now. And you're probably even second guessing your move to Northern Virginia. And I see this scenario at least once a week or once every other week. Someone calls me, they're relocating from like Texas, Oklahoma, Phoenix, Florida, and they show me the house that they're selling. It's a beautiful single family home, two car garage, 3,500 square feet for only $500,000. And they always know it's gonna be more expensive here in Northern Virginia compared to where they're coming from. But they do get a little discouraged when they know they're selling their beautiful single family home for $500,000. And that same $500,000 here in Northern Virginia will only get them a starter home, like a townhouse that's like three bedrooms, two baths, 1,500 square feet, maybe built in the 80s or early 90s. So where you decide to live in Northern Virginia will be the biggest factor of how expensive your housing will be. And a good rule of thumb to go by is the closer you get to Washington, D.C., the more expensive the housing gets. So let's look at the numbers. So the average sales price of a home in Northern Virginia is $737,000. And every time I do a new cost of living video, that number keeps getting higher and higher. So I'm gonna jump on a fancy mortgage calculator so we can break down exactly how much your monthly mortgage payment will be on that $737,000 house. Okay, let's type in our sales price, $737,000. I wanna keep it as generic as possible. So I would say on average, most people put 10% down, 30 year loan term, rates are 6.95% as of today. Now, since we're putting 10% down, we will have PMI. I would say on average, I'm seeing about $150 a month. HOA dues on average here in Northern Virginia is $100 a month. So for the average sales price home here in Northern Virginia, you're looking at a mortgage payment of almost $5,200 per month. And how much do you need to earn to comfortably afford the average sales price home here in Northern Virginia? Well, most financial experts recommend never spend more than 28% of your gross income on your monthly mortgage payment so if we take that $5,200 a month, that'll be 28% of $18,625 
multiply that by 12, you need a yearly salary of $222,000 per year to comfortably afford the average sales price home right here in Northern Virginia. Now let's look at everybody's favorite style of home and that's gonna be the single family home. And the average sales price of a single family home in all of Northern Virginia comes out to $962,000. Now let's break it down by county. So the average sales price of a single family home in Arlington County comes out to $1.36 million, which makes Arlington County hands down the most expensive county in all of Northern Virginia. Then in Fairfax County, the average sales price of a single family home comes out to $1,045,000. And not far behind it is Loudoun County, where the average sales price of a single family home comes out to $991,000. And then if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck, look into Prince William County, where the average sales price of a single family home is only $655,000. So yes, it is expensive to live here, especially with housing, but do not get discouraged. You can find a lot of great homes under the average sales price. Even my own personal home is actually well under the average sales price of a home here in Northern Virginia, and I absolutely love my house. So that's what it costs you to buy a home, but you may not wanna buy, so let's dive into the rental side. So the average three bedroom rental here in Northern Virginia comes out to $3,700 a month, Yes, you heard it right, $3,700 a month. When I was doing my research for this video, I was completely shocked. I literally had to triple check this number because I did not believe it. And that $3,700 a month average here in Northern Virginia, it could be a lot higher or it could be a lot lower. It just depends on where you wanna rent your home. Now, as much as I love making YouTube videos about living right here in Northern Virginia, what I love even more is helping folks just like you relocate to Northern Virginia. So if you've been thinking about moving to area, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. We can even jump on a Zoom call one-on-one, -on -one. but whatever you gotta do to get a hold of me, just know I got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. So let's check out gas prices here in Northern Virginia. So the average price of a gallon of gas here in Northern Virginia comes out to $3.79. And if you're gonna go with premium, that's gonna cost you $4.51 per gallon. So as you can see here, our gas prices are actually pretty comparable to the national average, which is actually $3.73 a gallon. And we're actually way less than the West Coast. Look at Washington State, $4.93 a gallon. Oregon, $4.59 a gallon. And California, almost $5 per gallon. Now let's look at the cost of HOA dues here in Northern Virginia. Now, if you're relocating from another part of the country, chances are you may not be a big fan of HOAs and I do not blame you. But here in Northern Virginia, the majority of the homes are gonna have HOAs. And the price range I usually see is anywhere from like $80 in the low end to as high as about $240 per month. Now, every HOA is definitely gonna be different. Some HOAs, all you get is like snow removal and trash and recycling. And in other HOAs, you get clubhouses, pools, indoor basketball courts, baseball fields. Some will even pay your cable and internet. In fact, my current HOA literally has no amenities. All we have is a small dog park. But my previous neighborhood that I used to live in in Ashburn had a ton of amenities. In my HOA, there was about 105 a month, give or take. And they had a great gym. And that's that was my gym. I did not have a need for an outside gym membership. So in my mind, me not having to have an outside gym membership basically paid for my HOA. Now let's dive into utilities. So I can't really give you what people spend on average with utilities because that's definitely gonna be case by case basis. So I'm gonna share with you the most average house and family I could find, a friend slash former client of mine. They have a townhouse in Fairfax, the four bedroom, four bath, about 2,300 square feet, family of four with two kids. Now let me break down on what they spend on average on their utilities. So electricity comes out to about $125 per month. It'll be a little bit more in the hot summer months of like July and August because they're pumping the AC. And then they spend about $45 to $55 per month on gas. And again, just like the AC, they'll spend a little bit more on gas in the winter time because their heaters using a lot of gas during that time of year. Water here in Fairfax County is paid quarterly. They spend about $125 per quarter on water and then their cable and internet comes out to $160 per month. So on average, with the most average house I could find and the most average family I could find, they spend $380 per month on utilities. Now off to everybody's absolute favorite thing to pay for, and that's gonna be taxes. No, I'm just kidding. That's definitely not everybody's favorite thing to pay for. 
So let's start off with sales tax here in Northern Virginia. So this I did not know until I was doing my research for this video. There's actually five states in the US that have no sales tax. That's pretty awesome. So the price you see is the price you pay. I actually love that concept right there. So the sales tax here in Northern Virginia comes out to 6%. Now let's look at real estate property taxes right here in Northern Virginia. And a good thing about property taxes here is we're definitely not the most expensive. I've helped a lot of folks relocate from like Texas, Connecticut, New Jersey, and they tell me what their tax rates are there. And I'm completely shocked. They're paying like two, even three times more in property taxes compared to what we pay here in Northern Virginia. Now the real property tax rate in Loudoun County comes out to almost 88 cents per hundred dollars of assessed value in the regular district. But I will say this, you do have some special districts in Loudoun County, which will have a slightly higher tax rate, like areas like right next to the Metro, for example. So let's look at a real world example. So this home in Ashburn sold for $740,000. The assessed value by the county is $696,000. And just so you know, the assessed value is usually always gonna be a little bit less than the market value. Now at the tax rate of 88 cents per $100 of assessed value, you're looking at $6,194 annually. But if you have a mortgage, you're paying your taxes on a monthly basis. So you're looking at paying $516 per month for your property taxes. Now let's look at Fairfax County. And the real property tax rate there is gonna be $1.11 per $100 of assessed value. So you can see it's a little bit more expensive compared to Loudoun County. Again, let's look at a real world example. So this house in Springfield just sold for $740,000, had an assessed value of $654,000, so that gives you a tax bill of $7,303 annually. Again, we can break that down per month and you're looking at $623 per month. Now the next tax you're definitely gonna have to pay living in Northern Virginia, that's gonna be a personal property tax, also known as a car tax. So in Virginia, you will pay a personal property tax yearly if you own a boat, plane, motorcycle, RV, camper, car, but most people don't have planes or boats. So that's why most people just call it the car tax. And the personal property tax rate comes out to $4.15 per $100 of assessed value. And the rate's actually gone down slightly because the last time I did a cost of living video back in February of 2022, it was $4.20 per $100 of assessed value. So let me share with you a real world example of the personal property tax. Every October, I get a letter in the mail just like this from Loudoun County. Super excited every time I see it. I'm just kidding. No way, no how am I excited to get this in the mail. Well, last year, my personal property tax bill was $1,800. I do drive a 2021 Tesla Model 3, and I think they had the assessed value on $42,000. So $1,800 I had to spend right there is one of my least favorite things about living here in Virginia is paying a personal property tax. So many things I'd rather do than pay that. Or the go on vacation. I can invest that money. I can save that money. I can put that money towards my kids' college fund. So many things I'd rather do with that $1,800 than giving it to the county basically for a car I already own. Now let's look at the cost associated with transportation. First, you have the Washington Metro, which is a rapid transit system servicing the Washington metropolitan area with stops in Loudoun County, Fairfax County, Arlington County, DC, and Maryland. So the fares for the Metro, they're gonna vary based on your ride length and day and time that you ride. But on average, you can spend anywhere from $2 to as much as $6 for one way. So right there, worst case scenario, if you gotta take the Metro to and from work, you're looking at $12 a day, which I don't think is a bad fare at all. And then we have the VRE, which is the Virginia Railroad Express, which is gonna be a commuter oriented rail service from the Northern Virginia suburbs, primarily Prince William County, which will go into Alexandria, Crystal City, and downtown Washington, DC. Now the fares for their VRE, again, it's gonna depend on how long your commute is. They're gonna go anywhere from $3.50 to as high as $12.15. So yes, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the Metro, but overall, I think it's still a great value because you don't have to worry about traffic, wear and tear in your car, you can actually be doing work while you're on the train. So I believe the Metro and the VRE are great values overall for your transportation needs. Do you love toll roads? Well, guess what? You're gonna love living in Northern Virginia because we have seven toll roads. No, I'm just kidding. Nobody loves paying tolls. I do unfortunately do go into tolls quite a lot because I like to get to my destination as fast and as easy as possible. But if you're like my wife who avoids the tolls at all cost, you can definitely do that as well. But let me share with you a real world example. Let's say you live in Leesburg 
and you're gonna work in the Pentagon. So the first toll you're gonna jump on in this scenario is the Dulles Greenway, and that's gonna cost you $5.80. And then you're gonna go on the Dulles Toll Road, which is gonna be about $4.00. And then you're gonna jump on to everybody's favorite, the 66 Express Lane, and that can get as high as $19.50. So right there, you're looking at $30 for one way, but obviously you gotta get back home. So that's gonna be another 30 bucks getting back home. So you're looking at $60 per day. So that $60 a day will add up extremely quickly. I go into tolls, but I'm not spending 60 bucks a day. I may spend five bucks here, five bucks there. But if you have to spend 60 bucks a day, I would definitely consider taking a train with the Metro or the VRE or carpooling. Now the next cost associated with living in Northern Virginia, and that's gonna be food. So food, at least in my opinion, is gonna be your biggest non-housing expense. So I can't share with you what households spend on average on food, because it's literally gonna be different for every household. So I'm just gonna share with you my personal cost of food. Now I am a family of three, myself, my wife, and my three month old baby, and I looked it up. The past three months, we have spent on average $2,000 per month on food, and that's everything. Groceries, ordering delivery, takeout, dining restaurants, buying baby formula, and date night for the wife and I. But I was shocked when I was doing my research for this video that I spend so much money on food. I know I like to eat good, but I know I like to eat that good. But yes, that $2,000 a month, it is a lot, but we do eat out quite a bit. Now, if we were primarily to cook, I could probably easily cut that number in half. Now, how much will I spend on average if I go out, let's say, for a date night with the wife and I? Well, one of our favorite restaurants to go to is Uncle Julio's in One Loudon. Great Mexican restaurant. I'll go there and get a nice margarita, sizzling fajitas. So when we go there, on average, I spend anywhere between like $100 and $150, depending on how many margaritas I decide to have. Now, the next cost associated with living in Northern Virginia is going to be daycare. So this is actually my first time ever talking about daycare on this channel. But now that I have a three-month-old baby, I'm actually currently looking into daycare myself. And you know what? I had no idea how expensive it is to get somebody to watch the kiddos. So according to carelulu.com, the average cost of daycare in the U.S. comes out to $9,649 per year. Now I live in Ashburn, Virginia, so let's look at the average daycare in Ashburn, and that number is $15,080 per year. So you can see it's a lot more expensive for daycare here in Northern Virginia compared to the rest of the country. And $15,000 a year, that is a lot of money. I better cut back on my grocery spending so I can afford that. So yes, Northern Virginia is an extremely expensive place to live. But like I said, all the pros of living here definitely outweigh that con. We have great education system, great place to raise a family, unlimited career opportunities, just a great place to live overall. And if you want to learn more about living right here in Northern Virginia, check out these videos right here. They're going to be great places to continue your research. And I'll see you on the next video.